The Stockton Arena says it's holding its own with the hockey team and events that still draw crowds here. Country star Carrie Underwood sold out the arena in April. People waiting in line said they liked that Stockton was stepping up. You kind of expect her to be in Sacramento or San Francisco, but she's here in Stockton. The 12,000 seat arena opened in 2005. The city paid $68 million. Can't buy me love. And just two weeks ago, the new Golden One Center in Sacramento opened its doors, kicking off a concert with Paul McCartney. The Golden One Center has more than 17,000 seats and has a price tag of more than $500 million. Will Stockton's arena be able to compete? You know, with Arco and Sleep, Sleep Train, it was the same thing. We went after the same shows, um, but we have our own niche. We're a little bit smaller. We're significantly smaller than the new arena, Golden One Center. Um, and so I think it just helps the music, the live entertainment uh, landscape here in Northern California, and we can all work together and we all have our niche. Manager Kendra Clark says events are being brought in that attract people in San Joaquin County, noting Spanish singer Vincente Fernandez brought in the largest crowd ever with 11,500 people. Clark says Stockton's niche includes Spanish and family events such as Stockton Pond, Disney on Ice and the Circus. And hockey season kicks off tomorrow with the heat and we're told the heat brings in a crowd. Arena management company SMG oversees concerts and events at the arena and the Bob Hope Theater. Clark says they're staying in the black. We have Ringo Starr in November at the Bob Hope Theater, the Beach Boys. We have Russian Grand Ballet is bringing Sleeping Beauty. So there's a lot of stuff coming through.